Today's video is about the four most powerful ways to create subdivision surfaces with Katia image and shape. I will show you how to create sub-D primitives, advanced sub-D primitives, sub-D extrude and sub-D drawing on scan data. Hi, my name is Andras Stojanovic, I'm a creative design consultant, let's start with the video. Number 1. Sub-D primitives On the right side of the shape sculpt tab, by clicking on the arrow next to the 2D primitives icon, we can pick from predefined 2D subdivision primitives, like rectangle, circle plane, ring and triangle. Next to them are the 3D subdivision primitives. These fundamental shapes can serve as a great starting point for your modeling. Number 2. Advanced Sub-D Primitives This command is located next to the 3D Sub-D Primitives. After clicking on it, we can choose between different basic shapes. By clicking and dragging on the handles with the left mouse button, the size of the subdivision primitive can be influenced in an intuitive way. The cutting mode allows us to increase or decrease the number of the sections on our subdivision mesh by just using the ruler on the side. With the conical mode and the opening angle functions, we can also influence the shape of our geometry by just using the ruler. The size and the segmentation can be defined with exact parameters by using the addition function. By clicking on the erase icon directly on the primitives, we can open our closed subdivision surface volumes. The addition icon is accessible also directly on the sub -D. With the smooth to sharp function, the sharp edges can be changed to smooth edges. Number 3. sub -D Extrude This is my personal favorite. It's located next to the advanced primitives and after launching the function, we can choose a reference plane which will determine from where my extrusion will start. Then I just click with the left mouse button and create some points according to my reference image. From here, I can continue with the modeling. Number 4. Sub-D Drawing on Scan Data Next to the Sub-D Extrude is an icon called Strip Drawing. After launching it, we can directly draw the segment lines of our subdivision surface. We can also add some faces additionally after we finish sketching and continue with the modeling from here. I hope you learned something new from this quick video tutorial. If you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on LinkedIn. Thank you for watching, see you next time.